Hey guys, welcome back to Fitness and Diabetic Health. It's Elisa Davis and this is Jamara. And we're going to talk about a very controversial topic, a topic that several of my viewers have asked. We did a recent Instagram Live. It wasn't long, but persons were asking about this topic and this was my next topic and I said I wanted to bring it out and guys if you weren't there check us out because I'm doing live almost every week and that's where you will get some fitness tips as well as health tips so I'm going to talk about do you think do you think we should eat before bed I know several persons have their views I have Jamar, he has his views, I have mine, and I think it's a little sample of the population, and we're going to discuss that topic. So guess what? Do not go anywhere. You need that information. You're going to learn a lot. We are planning to educate you. We're going to show you how it has been working for us, and everyone, I must add this, everyone has a different body type. It works for us, and it may work for you. So Jamar, I'm putting you in the hot seat. Should we eat or should we not eat before bed? That is a very interesting question. It is, that's why I brought it up. <laughs> and the reason why I say that is, I don't think the question is, should we eat or should we not eat? I think it's- So what is it? When should we eat? Okay. And what should we eat? Because not eating before bed should never be an option. You should always eat before bed. But it's what should you eat and when should you eat it. And it all that all comes down to your metabolism, uh -huh. how active you are, uh -huh. and your actual body type. Wow. And I agree with him. I agree with him. I believe that you should eat. And as he said, when should you eat? And why I think you should eat, because I do enjoy my food, guys. <laughs> Because your body, your body needs that calories. You have done so many activities throughout the day, right? And your body needs to work on those. It needs that energy. And if you're not eating, your body is going to store the fat and the carbohydrates and use it as fuel. And that's not something that we want because that's what will cause the weight gain. So I strongly believe, I, I agree with you. I strongly believe that we should eat before bed. But as Jamar said, guess what? What time of the day or what time before bed you should eat? And what time do you think or what time you have been eating before bed? That's a fair enough question. <laughs> and like I said, it's metabolism. Uh-huh. Because me, I eat any time before bed. Sometimes wow. five seconds before bed. Well, I think it's just the male. I really believe that the male doing that. I'm glad she brought that the up. The woman. Uh -huh. Hello, it's harder for us. Males burn fat, you know, a little quicker and easier than, you know, females. True. Do. So when a male can take certain risks, you know, the woman can't take that risk, you know. Uh -huh. Because males have a, you know, a bit of an edge, like a faster metabolism like than seriously. females do. <laughs> well, as he said, I think that's mostly relevant for males. But for my females out there, I strongly believe you should have your dinner like three hours before. It gives your body to recuperate. It gives your body to burn that calories. And you know, at that time, your metabolism is slowing down. So guess what? You want to be able to digest that food. So three hours before, I strongly believe that you should eat three hours before, not five seconds before. It all depends on what you're having. And another benefit too is that it helps you with your blood sugar levels. And I wanted to bring that out, especially for my viewers who are having diabetes or they are pre-diabetic. It helps with your blood sugar level. If your sugar level is too low, you are going to lack that energy especially the next day you're not going to feel energized once you, your sugar level is normalized or it's high not too high of course because it's not so helpful for my diabetic customers or my diabetic viewers or my pre-diabetic viewers but it helps you to stabilize your diabetic or your sugar level and it also helps you to feel energized that's one of the reasons why you should eat before bed. Another benefit actually is it aids with your sleep. 
Believe of it course. or not, when you eat before bed, you sleep better. You know, you're full, you know, you're feeling full, you, it's, you're more likely to fall asleep. Now, if you're trying to go to bed on an empty stomach, it's harder for you to go to sleep. That's so true. So if you're one of those people that think that not eating before bed is, you know, beneficial, I disagree with you because your body needs that um, energy, um, the calories to, you know, aid in your muscle rebuilding process during the night. Plus, it also helps you to sleep better. And I can agree with that. We're actually agreeing with some points. <laughs> but have you ever seen a baby when the baby is full? And we're not saying to overfull yourself, but eat moderately. When the baby is full, the baby just falls asleep. When you just see the baby just sleeping and just enjoying that sleep. So I totally agree with you. It helps you to sleep better. Okay, another question. It's all on the same topic. As I said, it was a controversial topic. Do you believe that eating before bed leads to weight gain? And I'm going to start with this one, Jamar, because several of my viewers, as I said, I had the live and they were asking me these questions and I'm saying they're actually doing my video. They're, I'm doing the answers before my video. And they were asking me this question and I should say it all depends. It all depends. And another question that will actually come into play is the foods that you eat before bed so they're so related but i don't believe that you will gain weight if you eat before bed why i'm going to tell you why because it all depends on what you're eating so i strongly believe that what you eat will cause the weight gain so not just eating before bed cause the weight gain so i think those two questions they are so correlated. They have a strong relationship. Because if you're going to have a bowl of rice, of course, this all this rice, all these carbs, the body will not be able to break down all this carb while it's resting. If you're going to have a banana, if you're going to have a fruit, if you're going to have some nuts, that can not lead to weight gain. Although all foods lead to weight gain, but those foods to me, are break down faster the body will break them because you remember you're eating three hours before so the body will be able to break down those foods faster but a bowl of rice a huge chicken those foods can cause the weight gain so it all depends on the proportion moderation and that will not cause the weight gain but jamara what do you think I'm gonna have to because just... he's having his bowl of rice. He's uh -huh. having and he's not gaining weight. Uh -huh. So I would like to know how how have you been doing it? It has not been working for me. I'm sticking to what is working for me. And guess what, guys? Stick to what is working for you. Everyone has a different body type, as he said. But let's hear his views. First off, I'm gonna have to disagree with the point of well. <laughs> it's a very controversial topic because <laughs> she mentioned that you know the things like nuts or you know fruits or whatever you won't it's gain same. any weight you know <laughs> yes you can gain weight from it. anything that you eat can you know cause weight gain yes it really depends on how you go about after the whole like when you eat and you sleep the next day what do you do you know what I'm saying? Because if you eat all of this, it's still going to lead to weight gain. It really depends on if you're active or how active you are. Okay. Right? I take the point. But <laughs> I did mention that every food causes weight gain. But I just believe that those food, the body will work, work on those food quicker if you're doing it three hours before. That's what I think. But to have a bowl of rice like before bed or to have pizza before bed... I don't think it will everyone will be able to not gain weight if you're doing that and you're having it like five seconds before i mean it, it, i understand what you're trying to say but it really you gotta think about it as from like an active level perspective uh -huh. you know okay. like if you're someone who's overly active like me you know what i'm saying if you're active you can have your pizza or you can have your big chicken, like you said, or your big bowl of rice, you, you know, hear that? have what you want. <laughs> well, be <It's> active. A, <laughs> but you have to be really active. Like, you got to think of it kind of like, try to work twice as much as you eat. 
Okay. You understand? Like okay. if you're eating this, if you want to work a little harder than you ate. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It really comes you. down to how active you are. You can eat what you want. It's just how you go about the next day, you know, dealing with the situation you put yourself in the night before. Okay. I take your point. I take your point. So if you are very active, well, you can try that and see if it, whether or not it will work for you. I haven't tried that and I don't think I will be trying it. But guys, if, as I said, work with what is best for you. And another question is, which it really comes down to, should anyone go to their bed hungry? No. And the reason <laughs> why... <laughs> The reason why I think is, like I said, it's harder for you to fall asleep on an empty stomach. Yeah. You know well, you ha well, they have been telling me that from <laughs> when I was young or you younger. Know? Yes, it's hard <laughs> to younger. fall asleep on an empty stomach. You know what I'm saying? And that's going to lead to another um, situation, which is not. Well, it could be fitness related because, you know, the body needs time, you know, adequate amount of sleep to rebuild and repair mm -hmm. and if you're struggling to fall asleep then the body's not getting the amount of hours that it needs to do the repair process and the rebuilding process so one thing is going to lead to another so i would not recommend not going to sleep without eating because what's going to happen is you know you're not going to fall asleep on time because you know you're hungry the, your, your body's basically telling you that no i want to eat you know what i mean i need something in my i don't stomach. know how some person do it <laughs> Right, so what's gonna happen is you're basically depriving yourself of some of that Food. sleep, mm -hmm. right? And that's gonna lead to another thing. So now your body's not getting enough time to rebuild and repair. Sure. I don't believe you should go on a to bed on a hunger stomach. And I've, they have been telling me this from I was such a tender age, from I was very young. And why I don't believe that you need calories. Calories give you energy and the body needs the energy. If you do not eat, and I said it before, if you're not eating, the body is going to store your fat. The body is going to store your carbs and that will lead to problems. That will lead to weight gain. You have to eat at least three hours before to ensure that your body can get that energy and Use that energy for all that activities that you do throughout the day and the day before. So, guys, try not to go to bed on a hunger stomach, okay? Guess what? The foods. He said pizza. I do not agree with the pizza. I do not. Yes, you can have your pizza, but what time of the day? Of the day? Not five seconds before bed. Not an hour before bed try to have foods that will be easier to break down that's what i think so if you're going to say if you're someone that says i don't eat i don't like to eat before bed or you're doing the fasting try and have um maybe a smoothie try and have a fruit but give your body that energy give your body that calorie because at the end of the day yes we look on how much calories we're having but we still need that calories. The body still need it to help with the energy level. So that's my view. That's his view. And I'm sure my viewers, they have another view. And as I said, it's a, it's a topic where everyone has a different thing. But guys, I can't say this enough. Work with what works best for you. You're doing this for yourself. You're doing it for you. And if you realize that this strategy, this method is working, work with it. If you want to try something different, you realize you're not getting the results that you want, of course, you can try his and you can try mine and see how best it works for you. And if it's not working, if it's, it's not working, <laughs> go back to your <laughs> Okay, so yes, so those are um, some of the questions that we are tackling today. I hope you're enjoying it. It's a very, it's a, it's a really tricky question. It's a tough question, but I really wanted to touch on it. And I wanted his views because he, he eats anything. <laughs> and, anytime. <laughs> anytime. <laughs> and some of my viewers really wanted to know this and I wanted to share it with them. So we're okay. at the final question, a question that everybody wants to know, including myself, whether eating before bed affects your abs. 
And I'm going to give Jamar this one. He will start this one because he has the six pack. You have the six pack. So you can give us an idea because you're eating this bowl of rice and you have six pack. Guys, it's best you take that question. So give us that answer. <laughs> yes. <sighs> eating, be eating before bed, does it affect your abs? It really depends where you are in your actual ab journey. Like if you're someone that's really fit, and I consider myself really fit. Okay, wow. Confident. <laughs> <laughs> I consider myself really fit. If you're that person, you know, you you already have what you desire, it's not going to really affect you as much as someone who's just starting out. Now, if you're someone who's just starting out, I would not recommend you eat that big portion of food before bed. No, you're talking. <laughs> no, you're talking. No, you're talking. But I'm, you know, say I already have what I need. So I take, sometimes I take a little risk and I eat you a heard big it. portion of food. You uh -huh. know, five seconds before bed. But the next day, no. At that moment, the second I eat, I'm already thinking, wow, I'm going to have to put in some oh, work tomorrow. You heard that, okay? okay. Uh -huh. I'm going to have to put in some work. I'm going to have to do my exercises. Mm -hmm. Some of those exercises are my push-ups. And if you're not, you know, know. If you're not doing the push-ups, guys, <laughs> uh -huh. be careful. Uh -huh. And um, high-intensity cardio, right? Okay, okay. Like hit cardio, high-intensity cardio. Okay. Yeah, you want to do those... Um, because they're really quick and effective, right? More reps with less rep time and um, less rest time, sorry. And we, I spoke briefly about this on the live, right? The oh, hit yes. cardio yes. because I'm not a big fan of cardio, but if you want to do hit cardio, which is like less cardio, but in like a sh wait, shorter amount of time, but more effective, I, re I recommend that. Plus, I recommend doing your crunches and your sit-ups. Ab workouts. Very important that you do your ab workouts. Well, at least he said something that I am also agreeing to. Okay, if you're in your journey, if you're just starting out like myself, do not have your bowl of rice or your pizza before you go to bed. Five seconds before you go to bed. <laughs> Guys, you know that I'm struggling to get those abs, right? And I really think if you're going to have pizza or you're going to have this rice before bed or whatever it is, something that is so bulky, it's going to affect your abs. If you're going to have it three hours before, it gives you time. It gives your body time to work on all that calories because you're walking up and down. You're putting in steps. So I strongly believe that you should have nuts or something lighter before bed just to ensure that you are having those abs and it's not bulking your stomach. You're not having this bulge like myself, which I'm working on. So you need to work with a method, his method, if you're far in your journey, as he said, he puts in the work. I do not have the time to put in all that work, but I do try. But if you're someone who are able to do the abs workout, you're able to work out like practically every day, well, go ahead and see if that will work for you. But for me, I'm not able to do that. I'm so busy, but I work with something I'm seeing a little abs here i'm still struggling <laughs> but it's coming and i'm working on that so i do appreciate his views and i i'm sure you also have views out there write it in the comments place it in the comments let me know what you have been trying maybe it can work for me and maybe it can it enhance work. his <laughs> work for him and other persons as i said it's a topic where several persons have their views they're it's overwhelming because so many persons saying this, so many persons saying that, but we wanted to bring this information to you. We wanted to show you what we have been using and it has been working. It's working slowly for me. Well, he's far ahead of me and it's working for him. But um, this is what we wanted to bring to you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you stayed and watched it because we just wanted to give you this information and I wanted him to give you what he has been using and i thought this was a really good video i think it was a really yes good. i thought so too but of course like share comment and if you know persons who are wondering whether or not they should eat before bed guess what send them to this video send them to this channel and of course i have to be up jamar remember jamar page say your page instagram page is a model 
a professional model so he has to keep up the body that's right and i'm going to continue bringing him here because i <laughs> do enjoy his company i hope you are also enjoying his but say that your page jamara x hunter <laughs> j-h-a-m-a-r-a-x hunter on instagram oh, wow and you're going to enjoy it as well because he has some very good content i really enjoy them i read them it motivates me and I'm sure it will motivate you. And of course, like, share, subscribe. Exactly. So, <laughs> and have a good day. Thank you.